A problem you may find is that when you're inputting data into a field, that if you're not familiar with the contents of that field, then what do you do? So for example, like the department field, I mean, what are these codes? TR, SL, CO, AD? Well, to find out, I could open up the departments table, double click, and go, let's see, TR is for training. Oh, okay. And if I need to make some updates, like assign somebody to the marketing department, what's the code for that? Oh, it's MK. Well, I can toggle back and forth in between the two until I have them all memorized, or better yet, how about if we go ahead and convert the field here from the default data type that it's set to, I think it's short text, to the lookup field. What that does is that when you click inside the field, it'll create a drop down arrow that when you click on it, it'll have a list of all the department codes and their corresponding department names. Doesn't that sound nifty? Of course it does. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and right click on the tab, go to the design view, and go to the data code, data type field, short text. We want to change that to the lookup. Okay, using the lookup wizard, because in the wizard, it's going to ask us a bunch of questions. Based upon our answers, we'll get what we want, which is the department code and the department name. So let's go ahead and click on it. Yep, it says it can't do it. Why? Because it's in a relationship. Before you can go ahead and do a lookup field, we have to break it off. Okay, let's go ahead and close out. Come up here, click on the database tools tab, go to the relationships group, click on relationships, and there we go. We have the payroll related to the departments table through the code here, the primary key to the foreign key, and so we got to break it off. That way it can go ahead and reestablish or reconnect and give us that option, and I'll talk about those options if we do want to create that relationship. So let's go ahead and right click on that relationship and left click delete. And it says, are you sure you permanently want to delete this? Yes. Uh, it says it can't do it because we have the payroll table open and you can't break off relationships when the tables are open. Let's go ahead and close out of them. So I'll click on it and close out or you can right click on that one. And well, let's close that one and we won't save the changes there. Now with them closed or looking the other way, we can go ahead and sever the relationship and right click and then go down to delete and say yes and it's done. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of here and open up the payroll or I could have right clicked on it and gone right to the design view, which is where we got to go anyways. So we can go ahead and change the data type from short text for the department code field to a lookup field by using the lookup wizard. Okay, first question. The wizard creates a lookup field which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your lookup field to get its values? Do you want to type it in or do you want to go ahead and look up the values from another table or query? Well, we want to look it up from the departments table. You know, get the code and also the corresponding department name. So we'll leave the selection and click next. And then there's a list of all the tables. So is it based upon this table or is it a query? Or you can look at both. Let's go back to tables here and it's departments. So that's already selected. Great. Click next. And it says which fields of the departments table contain the values you want to include in your lookup field. And the fields you select will become columns in your lookup. So when you click in that field, you'll have a column of department code and also department name. Oh, that's nice. So we got to include both. Let's click on the double arrows. Both of them are there. Click next. And it says, what sort order do you want for the items in your list box? So I want to sort it by department code. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow, department code, and it's ascending, or you can click on it and go descending, Z's down to the A's, but I want to ascending. And so let's go ahead and click next. And it says, how would you like the columns in your lookup field? Well, the way they are, except it recommends that you hide the key column, the primary key, which is the code. I want to see the code because I'm actually storing the values by code. And so if I can't see the code, it won't store the values by code, just by department name. So let's go ahead and uncheck that so I can see the code. Oh, that's nice. All right. And I don't like so much gappage here or wasted space. So I can hover over the right hand side of the column header department code until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions and click and drag it in or double click really fast to do a best fit. And so it fits to the longest text within the column, which is the name of the column, department code. And let's do it for the department name. Hover over the right hand side until I can see arrows. Double click. Okay, looks good. Click next. 
and then it says when you select a row in the lookup field you can store a value from that row in your database or you can use the values later to perform an action so choose a field that uniquely identifies the row which is going to be the primary key that's the unique identifier always is always has been so we'll leave it as is here the department code primary key code field and click next and we're just about done it says what label do you want to give your lookup field I leave it the same name as the field that we had here department code and here's where you can establish a relationship but it doesn't say it that way it says do you want to enable data integrity between the tables if you don't there's no relationship meaning that if I delete some departments they're gone it won't do anything in the corresponding table for those departments so you still have employees in the payroll tagged or assigned to those departments so what you can do is establish a relationship or data integrity and the first selection is cascade delete so if I delete a department like training TR it'll go into the table that it's related to for data integrity purposes and delete all records that have or are tied to the department code TR for training and so there's integrity there so I don't have employees who there is no department for so when I delete the department the employees are also gone but if you're like, oh, wait a second, I don't like that because you can totally annihilate a department and get rid of it without terminating the employees. So the other option is you can restrict the deletion here, meaning that it won't allow you to delete the code in the lookup table without first changing or deleting all records tied to that specific code. So if I want to delete the TR for training department from the department's table, I first have to reassign those employees to that code in the payroll table to something else anything else so I don't have any TRs or that training department tied to anybody in the payroll table so if I clean all that up and there's nobody in the payroll table that's tied to that department then I can go ahead and delete that department to me that just sounds really nifty well it depends on how you want to work with your data in any case I'll go ahead and do cascade delete and say that when my company gets rid of a department we get rid of everybody we just don't reabsorb them they have to reapply or you can go ahead and uncheck that and the other option is is to allow multiple values what that does is that the lookup field will contain checkboxes for multiple selections of the code in the payroll table so you can have like one employee assigned to more than one department in any case I want to go back to my data integrity cascade delete so you delete one it cascades over into the other and gets rid of all the records that have that department tied to it as it were and click finish the table must be saved before the relationships can be created you want to save now yes so is the relationship established well let's do a check see come up here and click on the database tools tab go to the relationships group click on relationships and hey we're back but now we have a lookup field you want to see that of course you do let's go to the payroll and then well right click and go to the data sheet view so when I'm over here going okay we need to change this employee from the TR depart what's the TR department click in here oh you get the drop down arrow click on it what's TR it's training oh that's nice now another thing that we can do well let me show you you can actually change it here and do MK and then there's the pencil shift enter okay that works cool but what I was thinking here is when you click on the drop down arrow if you don't know what this column data is like you want the title for that column department code and the department name we can go ahead and set that up let's right click on the tab go to the design view and then with the department code selected and by the way it says short text you think it would say lookup wizard but it doesn't so just know that when you change over to use the lookup wizard that it'll keep its former data type there but it's still doing the lookup let's come down below and click on the lookup tab and there you go display controls the combo box and I want to come down here and right there column heads so do you want the headings for each column you know for the department code where you get the heading that says department code if you do go ahead and double click to convert it over to say yes and let's come back up here click on the view button say yes we want to save it uh, it says payroll has changed since the last time you opened it either by another user or because another instance of it was opened on your machine do you want to go ahead and replace the changes yes let's go ahead and do that okay let's click in the field here click on the drop down arrow and there's the heading so now I know what I'm looking at in this column over here as opposed to that one 
not that it's too hard to figure out, but hey, you can go ahead and put the labels in there for these columns here. And that's Department COD. Oh, that's not working for me. Let's go ahead and fix that, shall we? Right click, go to the design view, and let's look down below. We've got the column widths. So maybe I can make that column on the left hand side of that delimiter. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a semicolon. So that's separating the left column from the right. And that's, uh, let me go ahead and click over there. If I can get in there, uh, let's go ahead and hit the delete key. Oh, it deletes all of them. Okay, it's kind of ghosting on me, but that's okay. We can just go ahead and do 0 0.7 and then go ahead and do the delimiter semicolon. And then let's do, how about 1.5? one and a half inches, hit the tab key, and then let's click on the view button, say yes, come in here, click on the drop down arrow. Now I can see the department code, the department name, but I have to scroll over. Oh, that's annoying. I don't like scrolling. Let's go ahead and change that, right click, go back to the design view, and let's look at the list width. How about if we widen that instead of one and a half, which causes us to scroll, let's go ahead and change that to two inches, hit the tab key, and see if that's enough. Click on the view button. Yes, let's save it. Click in it. Click on the drop down. Oh, that's nice. I don't really have to scroll. I could, but well, maybe I need to make it three inches or go ahead and shrink this up a bit because, you know, you got a lot of space over to the right hand side here. So in any case, right click, go back to the design view. Instead of one and a half, maybe I can do, if I can get in there and it'll let me do it, 1.25. Is that enough? Hit the tab key. And you're just going back and forth to get it just to look just nifty. There we go. Hey, shrunk it in far enough. I don't get the scrolly bar down below and I can see everything. Oh, that's sweet. Let's change you over to sales. Hold down the shift key and hit enter. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.